Okay, the first set of relationships that I want to talk about is the concept of collinear versus non-collinear. Right, when you're dealing with these two, oops, these two relationships, okay, the definitions are embedded within the words themselves. Co or col means with or together. Line, so collinear points are points that are contained in the same line. Okay, whereas non-collinear, exactly the same. Non within the same line. Okay, so non-collinear points are not contained in the same line. Right, so if you're given a set of points, let's say, and these points fall on the same straight line, okay, so points A, B, and C, this set of points would be considered collinear. Okay. Whereas if you take a set, and let's say you have a line D, E, and point F falls somewhere off that line. The set D, E, and F would be considered a set of non-collinear points. Okay, so if I put another point here, called it G, would the set of points A and G be considered collinear or non-collinear? Okay. Now, when it's talking about this relationship. It's not saying is there a line drawn between those that, that contains the points, but it's asking can you draw a line that contains. So is there a single line that can contain both points A and G? Yeah, so this would be considered a set of collinear points. Okay. It is possible to draw a line that passes through point A and G. And now what if I took the points a, B, G, would this set be collinear or non-collinear? Is there one single line that passes through point A, B, and G? No? So that would be non-collinear. Okay, so if you're talking about a set of any two points, no matter where they fall in space, so they can be located anywhere, and they would be considered collinear points, any two. Once you get to three or more points, now they have to be able to fall in the same straight line to be collinear, or if they're not in the same straight line, to be non-collinear. Okay, so let's take a look at kind of a three-dimensional representation of points existing in space, often illustrated with a box. Okay, so if we take this box and I start to label W, X, Y, Z, and let's call this uh, V. Okay. So our points uh, X, Y, and Z, collinear or non-collinear? Do those three points fall in the same straight line? No, so they are non-collinear. And now, what about the points V, W, and Z? Now, be careful in looking at these. Okay, this is probably where the most confusion falls. Okay, thinking about what this box represents. Okay, if you connected a, a line between any two of these points, will that line contain the third point? Okay, so if you do V and W, it may look like that line passes through Z, but does it? Okay. From that three dimension of that sketch, that line is actually up and away from point Z. Z is in behind and at a different level. So it might not be wise to choose those two points to sketch a line through. Let's choose V and Z. If we sketch a line through V and Z, okay, so it's along the, this side face of the box, is this side this line that passes through these 
going to hit the other corner of that front face? No. So when you take a look at these, again, in the three dimensions, you can see that that set of points is non-collinear, even though if you took a ruler right there, it kind of looks, I mean, on the flat screen or flat surface, it looks like those fall in the same straight line. But through the three-dimensional representation, they're set at different depths. So this set would not be a collinear set. It's non-collinear. Okay. Questions about that relationship?